Hi, I'm Abby, and I'm an educator here at Alms of Science Playground. Today, I'm going to share with you a fun experiment that you can try at home. Flubber making. All right. To make the flubber, you are going to need an adult, a big bowl, two cups of glue, Elmer's works the best, one and a half cups of water in one measuring cup, one and a third cups of warm water, two teaspoons of borax, which is a kind of soap that I have in this little cup here, watercolor or food coloring to color your flubber, a fork, a spatula, and a measuring spoon. And then I have an empty container to save my flubber in later. So the first thing that you want to do is add your glue. Use my spatula to get it all out. Then I'm going to add my one and a half cups of water. I'm going to take some time and really stir this up nice and thoroughly. Make sure that you really mix up all of your glue. You don't want any streaks in the water. You want it to be completely combined or else your flubber will not come out correctly. All right, now that it's mostly all done, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of my liquid water color. Whoa. You can set this aside for a moment. And now you're going to be mixing your borax with your warm water. You might need your adult to do this because you want warm water that will help dissolve the borax because the borax comes in a powder. Stir up your solution and make sure that there's no little grains in the bottom or else it will also not make your flubber come out right. And this is when the magic is gonna happen. But first, you gotta make a prediction. What is going to happen when I add this borax and water solution to our glue and water solution. Take a moment and tell your adult what your prediction is. All right, now that you've made your prediction, it's time to get messy. We're gonna pour our, our borax and water solution into our glue and water solution. So you're gonna wanna start stirring with your spatula, but you really have to get your hands dirty for this. So you wanna stick your hands in and squish the flubber through your hands and really try and incorporate all of the water. Whoa, it's starting to come together. This is one of our favorite things that we use at our sensory tables here in Science Playground. Way to go, scientists. We'd love to see the results of your flubber making. Feel free to share them on our Facebook or Instagram under this post. 